reality is if you want your heart to be satisfied you must say Allah Allah is the creator of satisfaction everything else is a creation if you want your heart to be satisfied you have to run to those who has satisfaction from Allah not satisfaction from dunya not satisfaction from their looks or their wealth or their intelligence all those fake all those is just thrown to garbage is not real go to those ones who have real satisfaction from their Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you will learn how to be satisfied that way because in reality so many of us we live lives trying to gain satisfaction from all those ones who teach us what satisfaction is but all those ones they are nothing but spokespeople for this dunya and the ego we were not taught we were not taught strongly when we were young first thing you have to satisfy it is Allah we're not taught that especially in this age now we don't teach our children that we say to them first you have to satisfy is your parents correct and what are the parents satisfied with let's be honest first thing they say we're satisfied with you if you study well why is that you study well you graduate well you get a good job dunya again completely dunya so the kids growing up looking to what they call external validators people who are outside to give them a reason for their existence for their satisfaction for their happiness they're not looking inside they're not looking to the creator of happiness they're looking to people who say what is happiness then they're discovering as you grow up because the kid that comes into this world they already know what satisfaction is they know what happiness is then later when all this propaganda starts hitting them they grow up a little bit then they start denying everything because they discover that it was all false but in that period when they are denying when they are challenging there is no clear voice there is no clear teacher that comes forward then they just going to grow up to just become rebel and saying I cannot trust anyone I can only trust myself music is supporting that movies supporting that everyone is aiming now to this market where they say don't trust anyone just trust in yourself but you were empty you went through a period of faith then that faith is taken away from you and now all you have is just disbelief to push out every belief how can you trust disbelief that is the time in Islam to be busy the kids to be busy and to be in the company of the awliya the alims to be in the company of holy people to be in the company of people who are also busy doing something working not really so much thinking so much working because with the work comes the thinking to problem solving analysis being sensitive being open thinking outside of the box because in that period of time the let's say adolescence or teenager you already have all these things you want to think outside of the box you want to be independent you don't want to you already have that and every song every movie that tells you this saying to you that you are independent they selling you a product saying you are free to think but think this way you are free to feel don't follow anyone but feel this way buy this thing behave like this dress like this
So, if we are not raised with Allah as priority, then we're going to put this dunya and everything else as priority. It's only a matter of time that you're going to feel that this dunya is a liar. It cannot satisfy you. The exposure to spirituality, please, this is not just for people. Spirituality is not for people who have done everything in their lives. Now they have some free time to retire and they start making zikr and think about spirituality. Spirituality is not for people who have worked all their lives. Now they are free and then they start worshipping. No, spirituality, it is our life force. Without spirituality, the religion will be dead. Religion in this country among the Muslim was very strong, but the spirituality is dead. That's why you see people either making deviation or they are coming out from that religion, emptying out that masjid. Nobody can say there is a decline of masjids being built in this country. Every yeah, you see more and more and more masjids, but people are empty. Because the masjids themselves, they're not teaching spirituality. Using religion as an excuse just to make our dunyas to become stronger. When that happens, you cannot gain satisfaction. Because Allah bi zikrullahi ta'ma'in kulub, only in the remembrance of Allah can the heart find satisfaction. So go to the Ahli Zikr. Go to the Ahli Zikr. Sit with them. You may, they may teach you how to forget your pain. Go with the Ahli Zikr, sit with them. They may teach you how to use that pain and to transform that into a jewel. Sit with the Ahli Zikr that all the abuse that you are getting, you'll understand the secret and the rahmat of Allah in that too. Sit with them. That time your heart will be satisfied. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah. Afiru